With Jedi Survivor coming on April 28th, I thought we'd dive back into Jedi Fallen Order, look at the best settings and show you just how good this game can be on the Steam Deck so you can get it in before the next game releases. Overall, this is extremely good on the Steam Deck, although the settings do jump around a bit. I do find that the best settings for this are around the medium range, but you are going to have to either deal with some heavy frame drops or cap the frame rate at 40. As you can see here in the combat, it sticks around the 50 to 60 mark, but it really does depend on the map and where you are. We take a quick look at the settings. I have this capped at 60 frames per second on the medium defaults. And you'll see that when we're navigating some of the bigger maps, it dips down into the 40 ranges and in a lot of the other areas it does stick around the 50 to 60. The wattage does stick quite high there around the 28. Capping this at 40 does bring that down to the 25 to 26 range but it's not a huge amount of difference so it really will depend on whether you want to gain that extra few frames per second in a lot of the areas or whether you want to have that consistent experience. So battery life is only gonna be around an hour and a half to two hours on this one. And this really kind of shows up when we start sliding around. We do get some heavy drops when we get some loading spikes, but they are few and far between. If you have replayed in the area a couple of times, it does sit close to that 60 frames per second. But if you do want that consistency, I would recommend keeping it on medium and having it capped at 40 frames per second on that with the 40 Hertz mode. I say that as a matter of preference because the dips aren't too bad and it is a really nice game at 60 frames per second when it can stay up there. If you are worried about that battery life and performance though, 40 frames per second will eat out around an extra 20 minutes to half an hour, but it's not that great in the grand scheme of things. Really looking forward to Jedi Survivor, but with this one only holding between 40 and 60, depending on the scenes, it will be interesting to see just how good Jedi Survivor will play on Steam Deck. Let us know in the comments below if you're going to be diving into Jedi Survivor, and remember if you have EA Play on Steam, which is around £4 a month or £20 for the year, then you can play this straight away in your Steam library with no extra messing around. If you do have the EA version, then you can use our EA app launcher video to run that version as well. But I do recommend using the Steam version as for the £4, it's going to save you a lot of time and hassle.